As we continue to build and tweak our portfolio in what can only be described as an unending pursuit of rounded rectangles, we're moving our focus into projects. We've already built our hero section, so this video is going to focus on creating a collection, our own custom database. We're going to use what we do in this video in just a bit when we build out our design, so let's go into the CMS. Now, this collection is going to be home to any number of client projects, which is why we're naming this collection Client Projects. And the fields we're creating here, we're setting up all the information we want to grab for each of them. Now, let's talk about what these fields are doing. Traditionally, we'd create one client project page, sort of a template, and we'd duplicate that page a bunch of times, which works fine until you need to make a change, or add a feature, or rethink the layout. You have to change it one by one each and every time. By creating this collection, when we move on to our design in a few moments, that design can reference these fields. So instead of going one by one, you change your design just once. And everything in your collection, all that data, automatically propagates to your design. Or if you're uptight about using the word data correctly, all those data automatically propagate to your design. Now, you can choose any field type. We're simply choosing field types that let us gather and later display the right information. The point is, we're going to let the CMS do all the heavy lifting. And speaking of heavy lifting, let's finish up this database, this collection, and create our first collection item. Now, if you're creating a collection and don't yet have content to enter, you can, of course, enter placeholder content, dummy items. This creates fake items and fills out each of the fields so you can begin designing right away. But for now, let's create our first collection item. Now, 20 seconds ago, speaking of heavy lifting might have seemed like a forced segue. It wasn't. Because the first client project we're featuring is Chad's Ripped Zone, a boutique weightlifting studio at the heart of San Francisco's Mission District, specializing in squats, overhead presses, and something called sick muscle gains, which for reasons unbeknownst to us is spelled with a Z. And what we'll do for this collection item, this particular client project, is fill out each of these fields, because later on, other elements, other pages, they can reference any of this. That way we don't have to manually manage page after page after page. We're also adding some alt text, which is huge for accessibility, especially for those browsing your site with a screen reader. And let's copy over the project details, which we can just grab from anything that supports rich text, like Google Docs, and we'll paste it right into the field. Let's scroll down and verify that everything made it over OK. And when we're done, let's finish creating that item. Now, we could go and do this one by one, but we've already saved ourselves a bit of time. Let's do this instead. Hey Siri, Wagner, nay, the Zay. We put all our project information in a spreadsheet, a master project import document, which we called master project import document.csv. With that file, we can simply press the import button, and we'll take the CSV and drop it right inside. And we'll match the data to our collection in just 16 seconds. How? Well, it goes something like this. Of course, once the field configuration is complete, we can click through the items we're importing to see how the data is structured in the CMS, and when we're ready, we just import. Progress bar, done. And right now, everything we imported is just sitting there. Fortunately, we can use it. We can use all this imported content to build anything. And that's what we're going to do in the next part of this course.